Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with a login. So first I'm going to open the backend project and see the routes for the authentication and also I'm going to create a new user to have the login with frontend. So in the terminal here I have opened the Laravel Breeze which is the backend, the Laravel project and I'm going to open this with a view with a VS Code. And first thing here, I want to open the auth.php. Here we have all the authenticated routes. So for the user, we need to make a post request to the slash register. For the login, we need to make a post request to slash login. For the forgot password, slash forgot dash password. And for reset password, slash reset dash password. Now for the login, which is which we are going to work in this video, we have the authenticated session controller and the method store to handle this post request. And as you can see, we have middleware quest. So if we are logged in, we cannot make again a post request. Let's open this controller. And here we have the store method. We injected the login request, which is going to call the authenticate method and is going to generate the session, as you can see here. And it's going to return response, no content. Okay, let's close and let's create now the user. For that, I'm going to open the database, seeders. And here we have an uncomment. This is going to create the user from factory with a name and email test at example.com and the password is the is password so if you go to the factory so user factory we have this here this string which is going to return the password okay now let's close this and let's run artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed okay and now let's run also the artisan serve to serve the project good now let's open the view breeze api with a vs code okay the first thing i'm going to do here is inside the home let's first say we set up Close this one and uh, here I'm going to import the ref and also the on mounted from view. And also import Axios to make a get request to the user from the API and display the user in, in the home page. So let's say import Axios also from Axios and let's say here const user equal with ref and then on mounted I'm going to make an async function here and say uh, const data equal with Axios dot get and the URL is slash API slash user. And for now, just let's say console dot log the data we get from there. Just make sure we need that await here. And now if we navigate in our first, we need to run the npm run dev and then open the project in the localhost 3000 inspect the element go to the network and refresh yeah we make a cat request to the user but we have the message unauthenticated very good now let's go to the login and make the logic the login and then uh, when we logged in, I'm going to redirect to the home 
page and then here we can get the user because we are we are logged in okay so back to the login page and let's open the vs code and make the logic here so open the login page first in the login page i'm going to import the ref from view and make also the axios to make a post request so import ref from view and also import axios from axios and i'm going to say const form equal with ref you can use also a reactive but i like ref and i'm going to say here email equal with an empty string and also the password equal with an empty string then go down when we have the form and inside the input for the email let's change it to be email type and i'm going to add the v model and say form dot email here scroll down when we have the input for password and say v model uh, form dot password like this when we have a form i'm going to say on submit of this form call the handle login method so we are going to create that and let's say here prevent let's copy in the handle login and let's create now so i'm going to create a constant with that name which is going to be equal with an async function and here we need to make a post request so i'm going to say axios first we need to say await axios dot post and the url url is slash login we need to add the data here which is the email which is the form dot value because we assign the form with the ref so we need to say value here i forget the arrow here value dot email and for the password add the form dot value dot password like this and when we make a handle login after we logged in i want to redirect back to the home page as i said you and when we go to the back to the home page we make a request to get a new user and because we are logged in we can display the user here so for that we need also to import the use router from the view router and i'm going to create here a constant for the router which is going to be equal with the use router and down there after we make a request i'm going to say router push to the home page so slash like this and let's save and let's see in action so if i open also the localhost 8000 uh, to see if everything yeah we have that inspect the elements and make sure just here i want to clear this and a refresh okay inspect the element go to the network and see now we are going to log in with that user we created which is test at example dot com and the password is password and let's see if i click login as you can see we redirected back to the home page so we have a success login and yeah we have here redirect and here we have the user now in when we go to the home page so let's clear and let's refresh we have success user here okay now let's uh, open the home page 
and instead of something like this i'm going to assign the data to the user but let's see now if i just come here and say const not const sorry user dot value because the user is assigned to the ref people with the data okay and here i want to console log the user dot value to see if we have that user so let's go to the console and refresh and uh, we have data inside also so if i say data dot data save and refresh yeah now we have the user here okay with that now in inside the template what i'm going to do i'm going to add a h1 and say display the user add a question mark dot name because we make an async and also i'm going to add a paragraph and display the email here so user question mark dot email like this save and as you can see we have the user name and the user email here so refresh console everything cool and we have the user and the email here okay friends this is for this video we can log in and display the user in the home page i hope you enjoy and see you in the next video all the best